Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four step problem. This is and LCM. So here Alice and Bob are playing a game. They have two positive integers x and y. In one operation, what they can do? Like they can replace exactly one number of the numbers with the GCD of current numbers. Okay. In other words, we can say she would select either x or y and replace it with GCD of x comma y. Then Bob would replace exactly one of the numbers with the LCM of current numbers. Okay. So you guys know how to calculate the LCM or GCD. That is a simple case. And finally, what we need to return? Find the minimum sum of numbers they can achieve after k operations. That is the thing. Okay. So output uh, on a new line, the minimum sum of numbers they can achieve after k operations. So one is a simple case like uh, if we have same numbers like suppose 2 or 2. So GCD will be 2, LCM would be 2. So like if we replace any of these numbers with the same number, the process will go on. So if numbers are same, we will, we will not do anything with the K, just return X plus Y means X plus Y directly. If we have same numbers, otherwise, what you can do. So otherwise you need to calculate GCD. So you need to calculate GCD. GCD of X comma Y. And when you calculate this GCD, okay. You know the logic of calculation of GCD. GCD is basically the greatest common divisor. Okay. So, like, if calculate the GCD, uh, let's see this example 4 and 2. So, if we calculate the GCD of 4 and 2, that will be 2 here. So, we can replace either of these numbers. So, let's decide to replace with this 2, comma. So if we replace 4, then it will be 2 and 2, x by, and here you can check if x is equal to equal to y, that is okay, then what we will do, x plus y, this, is, this will be our answer, okay. So let's see some different case uh, that this we have already seen, so next case is like this one, uh, 1, 5, 2, okay, 2 operations means, like in one operation, GCD and LCM both will be happen. So if this is the case, then we need to calculate the GCD, greatest common divisor, GCD of this x comma y, that will be 1 comma 5, that will be equal to 1, then we need to replace this, so we will do 1 and 1. We will replace the larger number because we have to minimize. Okay. So, and this is the same x equal to y. x equal to y, that means x plus y. Okay. This will be your answer in this case. So, what you need to do, like, let me tell you a approach for this. Okay, yeah, let's clean this. So you need to check first if x equal to y. That is one case. If this is the case, you can directly return this value x plus y. If not, you make a loop from i equal to 0 to i less than k. And during this loop, you need to calculate the GCD. Okay. Calculate the GCD of x comma y. You can write your own functions of GCD. Or you can do, like, you can calculate this from default functions in Python and C++. They are available. So you can do that. So once you calculate this, and then you need to check if x is greater than y. 
then what you will do x equal to bcd if y that means else condition then you will replace y equal to gcd okay and after this you need to check here you need to check if x equal to if x equal to equal to y if that is the case then do this and return the answer x plus y and after that you can calculate the lcm lcm with the updated x comma y these are the updated so you can write your own function or the simple logic for lcm is like product of these numbers and then divided by gcd so x comma y here and in this similar fashion you just need to copy paste this here in the lcm condition okay and again you need to check if x plus equal to y oh sorry f if x equal to equal to y that means x plus y return and after this loop you need to return x plus y what will be the x plus y that will be your answer okay hope you understand the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding